Okay, today we're looking at subtraction. Now, this, I think, as we found throughout the year, is an area that sometimes can go a little bit wrong because people get a bit muddled about um, regrouping in particular. So let's start with this one first. Again, I'm going to make sure I line up my columns correctly. 548,629 subtract 264,737. Nine subtract seven is two. Two ten subtract three tenths. Well, I can't do two subtract three, so I need to regroup. Remember, I can't just say three subtract two is one because I've got this, these two tens. I'm trying to get rid of three tens. I can't do that yet, so I need some more tens. So I'm going to go to the hundreds column. Take 100, regroup it into 10 tens. 12 then subtract three is nine. I can't do five subtract seven, so I'm going to go to the thousands column, get another thousand, regroup it into 10 hundreds. 15 subtract seven is eight. Seven subtract four is three. Four subtract six I can't do, so I'm going to go to my hundred thousands and regroup into 10 ten thousands. 14 subtract six is eight. Four subtract two is two. So your turn, thinking really carefully about your regrouping. Pause the video, unpause when you're ready for the answer. Okay, here we go. Subtract 143,672. Six subtract two is four. Four subtract seven I can't do, I can't cross out seven, so I'm going to need to get some more 10. So I'm going to take 100, so I've now got 400 to turn it into 10 tens. 14 subtract seven is seven. Four subtract six I can't do, so again, I'm going to regroup. 14 subtract six is eight. One subtract three I can't do, so I need to regroup to get 10 more thousands. 11 subtract three is eight. Three subtract four I can't do, so I'm going to take one of my hundred thousands. Now I've got 500 thousands. I'm going to put it over here so it becomes 10, 10 thousands. So now I've got 10 and three, 13, 10 thousands. 13 subtract four is nine. And five subtract one is four. Useful just to put the comma in, just to separate your thousands, 498,000, from your ones, 874 ones. Okay, remember the difference in maths. If I do, for instance, um, six subtract four is two, this is the difference. The difference between six and four is two. So it's like the answer to a subtraction calculation. Now, straight away, as I'm writing out 574,085, I'm noticing this placeholder and I'm thinking to myself, oh dear, I'm going to have to be a little bit careful here. So, five subtract six I can't do, let's regroup. So I get nine. Now, seven subtract eight I can't do um, in this context, so I need some more tens. Now, normally I go to my hundreds column, but I've got no hundreds. So I'm going to need some more hundreds. So I'm going to go to the thousands column, take 1,000, turn it into 10 hundreds. Now I can take one of those hundreds, so I've got nine hundreds left, and turn it into 10 tens. Remember, I can't go straight from the thousands to the tens, as that would be 107 instead of just 17. 17 subtract 8 is 9. 9 subtract 8 is 1. 3 subtract 5 I can't do, so I need to regroup. 13 subtract 5 is 8, 6 subtract 6 is 0, which is fine, I don't need to regroup, that's fine. 5 subtract 2 is 3. Your turn, pause the video, just think really carefully about what happens around this 0 when I need to regroup across a placeholder. Pause the video, unpause when you're ready. Okay, so we've got 850,596. Subtract 326,718. Can't do six subtract eight because I've got six ones and I'm trying to get rid of eight, so I need some more ones. So I'm going to regroup 110 into 10 ones. 16 subtract eight is eight. Eight subtract one is seven. Five subtract seven, well, I can't do that. I've got five hundreds, so I'm trying to get rid of seven of them. So I need some more hundreds to be able to get rid of seven. So I go to my thousands, but oh, no thousands. So I'll go to my ten thousands, regroup into ten thousands, then I can take one of my thou uh, thousands and turn it into ten hundreds. It's like a sort of shuffle, everything shuffling along one place. Fifteen subtract seven is eight, 
9 subtract 6 is 3, 4 subtract 2 is 2, and 8 subtract 3 is 5. So I get 523,878. Now, just to finish off, we've got two problems here. One is this is a five digit number, whereas this is a six digit number. And the other problem is look, I've got all these zeros, all these placeholders in here that might be causing me a problem. So let's have a look. 200,014 uh, 200, subtract 74,321. No hundred thousands in this number. Four subtract one is three, that's easy. But one subtract two, well I can't do that, I need to cross out two and I've only got one. So I need to regroup, but oh, I've got no hundreds, I've got no thousands, I've got no ten thousands. So I've got to go all the way to the hundred thousands. And what I can't do now is just take this over here, all the way back over here, because that would be um, 10,000 hundreds, which doesn't work. So I've got to do this little shuffle. I've now I've got 10, 10 thousands. Take one ten thousand, regroup it into ten thousands. Take one thousand, regroup it into ten hundreds. Now finally I can take one hundred, regroup it into ten tens. So now I've got eleven tens, subtract two is nine tens, nine subtract three is six, nine subtract four is five, nine subtract seven is two, and one subtract nothing is one. 125,693. Your turn. Pause and pause when you're ready. Okay, again, I'm thinking to myself, no, no dear. line this up correctly. Now, two subtract seven, I can't do, can't cross out seven, so I'm going to have to go to my tens. Ah, hundreds, thousands, okay, ten thousands. So now I've got ten thousands, take one. Now I've got ten hundreds, ten one, regroup it into ten tens. Finally, I can take one of my tens, regroup it into 10 ones. 12 subtract 7 is 5, 9 subtract 6, 3 is 6, 9 subtract 2 is 7, 9 subtract 5 is 4, 3 subtract 3 is 0, I don't need to regroup there, that's absolutely fine, and 6 subtract 1 gives me 504,765. So have a go now at your independent task, see how you get on. Think really carefully about regrouping, particularly when there's a placeholder.